when you have radiation for breast cancer, are the burns as bad as you hear? How long do they last and does it hurt? I had radiation after my double mastectomy and these were some of the questions that I wanted to know more about. This video covers what you can expect with skin changes during and after radiation. Hi, I'm Erica. I'm a breast cancer thriver and a chiropractor. Radiation is usually given as a daily treatment five days a week for a number of weeks. The type and amount of radiation that you receive will depend on a few factors. The radiation schedule for breast cancer can vary quite a bit as sometimes a more accelerated schedule is used. In this case, there would be fewer treatments in total, but a higher radiation dose at each treatment. A gray is the unit that radiation oncologists use to measure the dose of radiation. An example would be radiation over a three-week period as compared to a five-week period. As a comparison, I had 40 gray given over 15 sessions over a three-week period. How about the difference between a lumpectomy and a mastectomy? With a lumpectomy, radiation is generally a part of the standard treatment protocol. Sometimes there can be an extra dose or a boost dose, they call it, at the end of the treatment regimen. This targets the area where the cancer used to be. With a mastectomy, it's more variable whether you're gonna have radiation or not, and this depends on a few factors. I had a double mastectomy with tissue expanders placed at the time of my mastectomy. Radiation was recommended for me because I had stage two cancer was spread to one of my lymph nodes and also the tumor was very close to the front margin of the skin. If you're not doing chemotherapy, the aim to start radiation is generally six to 12 weeks after your surgery. If you're having chemo and your chemo is after surgery, then radiation is usually done once your chemo is completed. Radiation uses high energy x-rays to target and damage any straggler cancer cells that remain after surgery. This serves to reduce recurrence and who doesn't want that? Because radiation affects everything in the radiated field, nearby healthy cells are also affected and this includes the skin. The area in the radiated field generally includes the breast itself or if you had a mastectomy where the breast tissue used to be the entire chest wall, and a few areas targeting lymph nodes. There's lymph nodes in your underarm area. Now, some of these would have already been removed. There's also lymph nodes above your collarbone area and then in the center of your chest. The skin changes that you're gonna experience are cumulative and delayed. You'll see your skin changing over the course of the treatment slowly, but it will peak around one to two weeks after your radiation treatment is done. I'm sharing the details of my timeline, so hopefully this will give you a better idea of what you can expect week by week. Everyone's treatment protocol is different and skin changes can be quite variable. I took photos at the end of each week or after each five day period. Had I known I was gonna use these photos online at some point, I would have actually taken them with clothes on. So I blocked out parts of the photos, but you should still be able to see the skin changes surrounding the breast area. By the end of the first week or five day period, there was very mild redness in the radiated areas. It was slightly more noticeable in my breast area, but it was also a little bit above and below that. At this point, I didn't have any pain or itching, so I really didn't have any symptoms at all. By the end of the second week, and this would cover treatment six to 10, there was a little bit more redness, but still not too much. My skin just looked like I had been in the sun, so mostly in breast area, upper chest, and then a little bit under my arm. After one to two weeks of radiation, it's completely normal if your skin feels irritated, itchy, warm, dry, tight or tender, or swollen. I still didn't have any of these symptoms at the two week mark or 10 sessions in. So literally no pain or irritation, just the subtle signs of a mild sunburn, like I said. When I was two and a half weeks into treatment, so there was just a few days remaining for my treatment protocol, my skin was visually getting worse. This remained constant until the end of the three weeks 
or 15 sessions. The most surprising thing to me was that I didn't have any pain. I also didn't have any irritation or itching, but if you looked at me, you certainly would have thought that I would have and it would have been in pain as well. My mastectomy scar was also quite red and it wasn't just right along the scar, it was sort of spread out above and below that whole way. At the one week mark after radiation was done, the burn in my armpit area was getting pretty uncomfortable. This is a typical area for soreness. It's a sensitive area to begin with and there's a lot of friction happening because when you're walking, basically every step when you're moving your arm, your upper arm skin is rubbing on the skin in the underarm area. Nine days after I was done radiation, my skin was really uncomfortable. This was definitely the peak of my skin changes and pain. I was actually camping at the time with my family as we had a pre-booked trip and I wasn't about to miss it. My underarm area was starting to mini blister and then it started to peel and of course there's raw skin underneath. I have a high pain tolerance but this definitely hurt and I had a good cry. I was fortunate to connect with my radiation oncologist and she prescribed a topical antibiotic ointment that I was able to pick up from a pharmacy near camping. The ointment significantly helped. Within a day my skin looked quite a bit better and the soreness only lasted a few days. Despite being uncomfortable, I was still able to do a bunch of things camping. We did a bunch of walks. I still found the arm swinging by my side pretty uncomfortable with the friction in my armpit area. So I walked most of the time with my hand on my waist or alternating that with just hands behind my head. I was able to go biking and it actually felt great because my hand was out in front of me so there wasn't any rubbing in my armpit area with friction and the wind really felt nice to ease some of the symptoms of soreness. In terms of the typical sunburned appearance of skin, there's a natural progression that the skin changes. In order, it typically goes from red, darkening, blistering, and then peeling. Acute skin color changes usually return to normal within two to four weeks after you're done radiation. My skin really did feel okay after the mini blisters had peeled. In terms of my mastectomy scar, I actually noticed that it seemed a bit flatter on the radiated side as compared to the other side. If you're finding value in this video, hit that like button below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Near the end of treatment, it can be common to have some open, moist areas, especially where two parts of your skin come together. The underarm area is really common, like I said, because there's friction with the upper arm skin against the armpit skin. If you enjoy running, you may find that the friction in your armpit area can be a bit uncomfortable. With a lumpectomy, this can happen in the breast fold area as the lower part of the breast can sometimes touch the skin below. This doesn't happen with flat closure because there's no fold in that area, but also generally doesn't happen with tissue expanders or implants. The skin on the lower portion of the breast doesn't usually touch much of the skin below. What about the longer term effects on our skin? Some areas of darker skin or hyperpigmentation can last much longer. The skin that was a bit darker wasn't equal in all areas. It was mostly in my armpit area and then there was a band right under my breast and then a spot actually in the back. These were also the areas that looked the most burnt at their peak. I had a few areas that were quite visible even a year after I was done radiation. It's interesting to note that the areas that were the most burnt and had the longest lasting skin changes, meaning they were darker for a longer period of time, were also the exact same areas that were the most affected with radiation fibrosis symptoms. So that tightening and hardening of the tissue in the radiated field. I hope this video helped you get a sense of what you can expect during radiation. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.